in the new new news in the news today. Obama has said through a congress through a conference where he always says the opposite of what he says with his famous twist of words and lying as usual that they plan to have and they're doing test trials with uh, places in Manhattan and in North Carolina with testing balloons to see about doing a possible nuclear or even chemical strike in these areas. Um, and also they're trying to find a way on how to hit the power grid to knock out all the power to uh, large parts, portions of the United States that would be affected, like North Carolina, Manhattan, Texas, and California, and Ohio, some of the places that are on their map of discussion to where they may unleash this nuclear radiation. But don't you think that the area where they don't release it doesn't mean you won't be affected by it because, remember, the radiation moves on the wind. So we all need to get this out because this is what Obama said in his part of his address that he was giving yesterday, uh, or actually today, that what he was talking about is what they're thinking about really doing in this country is having a possible nuclear strike on Manhattan and New York and in North Carolina and then also uh, California and in Texas may also be other sites that may be hit. But the main ones that they talked about possibly are New York and also North Carolina. So, you know, these are serious things, people, that we need to really be aware of because this is what Obama did talk about as a hint, saying that national security is a mistake, is is, a, is at stake. And the only reason why it's at stake because we've got people in our country that should not be in our country that aren't Americans, and that's why it is a state and why our borders are all open, and that's why it is a state. If we had better border protection and we didn't have people over here that were globalists, then we wouldn't have to worry about this kind of threat from some foreign power coming in, having control over weapons that don't belong to them or have no reason for them to have access or even to have possession of. Because remember, those missing nukes went missing a few, uh, last year. Now, they have the nukes, and they're thinking about using them here in the United States and in other places around the world. So that's where those nukes went that are missing. Remember those nukes they were talking about? Well, they have them, and they're thinking about doing a test, actually doing a strike on New York, also North Carolina. I'll say this again in case you missed it. And other places that are also on that map are California, Ohio, and Austin, Texas. These are on the map. So, you know, they could do that in any one of these areas. And they could even do it here. You know, they're not going to do it too close to D.C. And if they did do it in D.C., the president wouldn't be there. He would be in some kind of bunker. or He would be not in this area if they did at least a nuclear attack. But the thing is, you know, it's very real. And they're thinking about possibly pulling this off. They have the global war with Russia. And then they'll do a nuclear attack so that they can bring in an usher in martial law and take over this country and get people to bow down to it and get people to be uh, uh, washed into it. And why they do that, you'll be so scared and afraid that you'll just bow down to anything. And that's what they're hoping that you do. That's, but if we sit here and start talking about all this stuff, this won't happen because we know what their plan is and we're exposing it. So therefore, why don't you tell your friends and tell people about this podcast and you expose it so that they won't be able to unleash this plan because they're really thinking about doing something like this or you know, staging another false flag or some type of terrorist to lead up to that. So we want to try to get this out before anything happens because they are really serious the way Obama was talking today that possibly that might happen, you know, because the opposite, remember, whatever he says is what really is the truth is, is the opposite of what he says. So, uh, you know, just remember that because he was talking to those kinds of groups and giving those hints out in his speech today. So, you know, be on the lookout and oh, and tell people and discuss this openly and inform people about this so we can stop this mayhem. So Michael DeSilvis with InfoWars and DeSilvis' Media, the Freedom Network. Remember, if you don't use your freedom, you will lose them. And remember, talk about this. Speak out. And remember, help us out. Donate if you can because we really do need your support. Our NAS died yesterday, actually today, and we do need a new NAS, so if you can help us out, it would greatly be appreciative. Thank you to all those that do help out. Please subscribe down below, down below, all right, and uh, let people know about us. Thanks a lot. I love you. Stay strong in the Lord, and remember, stay informed.